Hello, K Entertainment enthusiasts. Welcome back to I Got News, where the latest buzz in Korean entertainment comes to life. If you're passionate about the beats of K pop, the twists and turns of K dramas, and everything in between, you're in the right place. We're here to keep you in the loop with the freshest updates, juiciest gossip, and exclusive insights from the Korean entertainment scene. We're all about staying on top of the hottest trends and delivering them straight to your screen. So buckle up, fellow K Entertainment enthusiasts. I Got News is here to be your ultimate guide through the dazzling world of K pop, K drama, and beyond. Before we dive into the news, make sure you hit like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and comment below. Stay tuned until next time. Today, we're diving into a recent Instagram exchange that has got seven fans talking. Jackson Wank, a member of GOT7, responded to a fan's comment questioning his feelings about the group. Let's break down what happened. Jackson Wank recently found himself addressing concerns from a fan regarding his sentiments about GOT7. The interaction started with a fan accusing Jackson of seeing GOT7 as a thing of the past, referencing a post he liked on Weibo. The fan's comment was quite emotional, saying, To you, GOT7 is in the past. However, it can't be denied that GOT7 existed in your life for 10 years. I don't know if the Weibo post you like today has that meaning, but I don't want to guess anymore. Let the wonderful things stay in the past. I will remember all the happiness that GOT7 as Jackson brought me, but please respect the existence of group fans. We are humans too, and we also have emotions. We are not animals. We also have bad moods. The Weibo post in question likely relates to an excerpt from Jackson's interview with Harper's Bazaar China for their August 2024 edition. In the interview, Jackson discussed the difficulties of forming genuine friendships in the entertainment industry. Jackson said, Because what I've experienced in this industry over the years is that when I make friends, I don't know if I'm making friends with the person themselves, or if I'm making friends with the person's team or if I'm making friends with the person's fans. It's hard for me to have a pure and direct friendship, especially with people my age. The fan interpreted this as a possible reference to GOT7, leading to their emotional comment on Instagram. Jackson, who has faced questions about his status with GOT7 since starting his solo career, responded simply and directly. Jackson replied, What are you saying? This response highlights his confusion and perhaps frustration over the fans' assumption. This interaction has sparked a lot of discussion among fans. Many understand Jackson's challenges in balancing his solo career with his history in GOT7, while others are sensitive about any perceived distancing from the group. Jackson's solo career has been a major focus for him, but his connection to GOT7 and its fans remains significant. It's important to remember the complexities idols face in their careers and personal lives. What do you think about Jackson's response? How do you interpret his comments about friendship in the industry? Thank you for joining I Got News today. If you loved what you saw, hit like, share, and subscribe for more K Entertainment updates. Your support means the world! Drop your thoughts below and let's keep the K Entertainment conversation alive. As we sign off, keep spreading the K Entertainment love, stay tuned, and most importantly, stay fabulous. Until we meet again for more exciting news and updates,